Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Dragon Quest 9. We're gonna do some more quests, obviously, because that's all most of what we have left in the game. Okay, so one of the quests, um, I'm actually doing them in order, somewhat. We are gonna unlock the ones, well, not unlock, because we've already unlocked it. We're gonna do the ones for the individual classes. Um, each one gets a quest at level 15. And subsequently one at level 40, once you've completed the one at level 15. That's why all my characters, including the Luminary, which I have done in between episodes, are all level 40. That's why it's of significance. Now, chronologically, the first one is for the Warrior, but since that one is going to take some time, I'm going to do that one off-screen after the end of this episode. So we're going to skip straight to the one for the Priest. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Now, obviously, you have to have someone, when you start these quests, of level 15 in your current party. And, thankfully, I do have a priest. If I didn't, I would have changed my vocation on somebody. It doesn't matter who, it just needs to be somebody. So, we need to defend ourselves from attacks 30 times. And you actually have to complete the battle, or else it doesn't count. So, basically, you just basically sit there and just defend. That's it. Kind of boring. And you can actually do it, even though you need a, the uh, a, a, at least a level 15 priest to actually activate this quest and get it started, you do not have to defend just with the priest. Any party member will count. So that's a good thing. So basically, you just need the priest in your party for five seconds to activate this darn thing. But you need to, uh, for, as far as I know, you need to actually do it outside in this area, so... You can be a real cheap bastard and just whistle enemies. <laughs> that works just fine. Here we go. So we just want to defend. I'm sorry. I'm so used to playing Final Fantasy IV that I forgot which button to push to get it to go and defend. I was like trying to hit the right button and no, that doesn't work. Oh, great. So you make me dance. Hooray. So yeah, we'll just do this a few times just to show you that it doesn't need stack and whatnot. And then I could spend like three minutes doing this off screen. I'm not gonna bother healing my characters at all, and you'll see why in a few moments if you don't already have figured this out. <laughs> Excuse me. Just have stopped dancing now. Will you people just quit your... Yeah, do that. Alright, now we'll beat the crap out of him. Yeah, it's a good thing you can use any party member for this, because doing it 30 times would be a pain in the butt if they had to attack your priest. Oh no, my MP is increased by 4 on the, the character who was the least amount of MP besides John who was none. Oh no, whatever am I gonna do? Oh, I was gonna say, I'm like, why is he doing so much damage? But I need to switch people's equipment back. Yeah, and I successfully defended three times, so it doesn't need to stack on. I need to fix my equipment. I didn't realize that, because I put spears on. Can I totally unequip that? Here we go. And you... No, you need to put... That thing back on. Okay. There we go. Alright. So, I wasn't expecting to run into an enemy just there, but, uh... Oh, great. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. But I am gonna be defending the rest of this off-screen, so I shall return... For you, it'll be about five seconds. For me, it's going to be about five minutes. And defending the rest of the 27 times. Fun! Hooray! And we've done it. And actually, interestingly, which I did not actually realize, if you get a monster that uses, like, a, um, an area of effect attack or a multi-targeting attack, and all you, all four of your characters are defending, it does actually count all four times. It doesn't count per attack, it counts per hit. 
So I racked up those, because those stupid gum warrior things. I thought they were going to be a pain in the ass, because they're constantly wasting their turn to defend themselves, and they'd, thus they wouldn't be attacking me for a chance to me to defend. But no, they like to use their breath attack a lot, apparently, around here. So, that is a good thing. And this butt munch needs to get away from me, but we'll get around that by zooming back to Wormwood Creek. Yeah, of course, John died because he got attacked too many times, but I deliberately am not was not healing either, so... Excuse me, sir, you're too close to the town gate. And you'll see why I was deliberately not healing in a moment here. Hooray, we've done it! And we get some crap. Yeah, 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 he's gonna say, can't make it level 40, even though I am level 40. And surprisingly, even though I'm actually uploading something right now, um, the emulator's not lagging at all for that. That was kind of nice, actually. All right, what did I get? I got some kind of equipment. No, goddammit, no. That. Thank you. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think we got one male and one female equipment. Yeah, we'll put that on. Make them look all spiffy. Alright, so let's get my quest for level 40. Oh, yeah, oh, crap. I have to leave the room and come back to reset his dialogue. Give me my other quest. Thank you! Alright. Yeah, we need the power to heal. Yes. So what this means is I have to wait until somebody's HP hits orange and then use my priest skill, uh, more heal on them. And for this part, you actually do need a priest in the party because you need more heal. Um, I can't remember if sages get more heal or not. I don't think they do. I think priests are the only people who get it. Maybe that's full heal I'm thinking of. I don't know. I know sages don't get as many healing spells as priests do. Alright. So that's why I did not heal. Uh, and the, the catch is, as well, is you must use the more heal in battle. To the Vengaru. So, doing it outside of battle doesn't work. But there is a little trick to doing this. And for this, obviously, we are in the Magma Roo. Um, this is just the easiest spot to get to. Uh, basically go to any spot in the world that has damage tiles. So magma and purple piles of poisonous puke will work equally well for this. Because this will get your health down pretty quickly. Um, without actually being getting risky behavior and attack, getting attacked by monsters to the point where, uh, you could potentially die. So basically, just walk around the damage tiles for a while. Obviously, we can see our HP there. And thankfully, no, I don't want to zoom. Uh, whistle! To summon yourself a monster equally, you could just go attack somebody, but I find whistling to be more fun. Alright, so we're going to defend with everybody first, just so we are sure we get this spell off. So let's use more heal on myself. Hooray! Oh, now I get poisoned. Ah, great. I'm not sure if it has to be this monster specifically, but there is a quest later that requires you to get poisoned. And I know, I'm not sure if the, if, if the quest itself requires these guys to do it, or I just chose these guys on my DS cart, but I remember taking forever to get myself poisoned by these assholes so I could heal it. Oh, great, yeah. Like, like, like the least common status element in the game, I get right off the bat, and I'm gonna need it for quest later. Good job. Yeah, so we gotta do this 18 more times. Well, 19, rather. Because apparently I cannot count. And we need to heal everybody if poisoned. So we'll take care of that real quick. 
Yep, so basically just walk around on the damage tiles forever until you need it, but thankfully since everybody's HP goes down, and thankfully I'm not wearing any equipment that protects against damage tiles because such equipment does exist, um, you can actually take care of this pretty quickly. Because even though obviously it takes what I need whistle, it takes a while to actually get your HP down once you've fully healed, but since you have four characters you can do it on, it's awesome. So I'll be back in a few moments. Hooray! And like 15 minutes later, I finally get this done. Man, that takes forever. God. And one thing I did notice, yeah, all my characters are poisoned, was that about halfway through that, I noticed I wasn't running out of MP for Jake. And then I realized, remember at the end of the last episode when I mentioned when you're uh, grinding in some uh, Metal King Slime Grottoes that it would be very nice if you had any equipment that helps restore MP, such as a Goddess Ring? I'm not sure if I said it or not, but I, I know... At least I was thinking while recording that. I was mistakenly under the impression that I did not have a goddess ring. I do. It's been equipped on him for a while. I don't know how, how long I've had this equipped on him, but... Apparently, whenever I did, I was completely aware, you know, and specifically equipped it on him for a good reason. But, yeah. Even, obviously, the goddess ring still works when you're standing on the damage tile, so... I was pretty mostly even for uh, MP, which is really good, because if you're not, that can be kind of a problem. Alright, so let's evac and get the hell out of here. It's too bad I'm going to be back there again in about five minutes. Now, if I was smart, I would already have another quest activated by that time, but since I'm trying obviously recording this... Uh, I'm doing this in a very precise order. First, I'm actually going to go heal at the end to get rid of my poison and get back all my MP and stuff like that because I haven't healed in a man in a quite a long time. So, yeah. Talk to this lady right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two good coins. Yeah, I can afford that. I have no idea why this is not lagging today. I mean, I'm not complaining the least, but... I just find that kind of bizarre. Oh, now it's starting to lag a little bit. But that's okay. Um, I'm gonna go... Back down the well! Hello, good sir. Yes, I did it. How the hell you know I did it? I have no idea. Apparently my hero isn't capable of lying. What the... He's a Celestrian! Hey, didn't you go back to heaven or whatever after I beat the game? So we get a scroll called the Priest Primer, which grants us the Wave of Relief ability, as he said, which um, is pretty much like, well, like a party wide Isuna spell. For those of you who have played Final Fantasy. So, and he transforms back into a creepy old man. Alright, so that's two quests out of the way, and before we end this episode, we're going to talk to this guy right here. This is what I should have, uh, chronologically, uh, this quest comes before the priest one I just did. This one requires the level 15 warrior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what we have to do is we have to piss a monster off, well, two different monsters, and defeat them with critical hits. Now, here's the catch. You can't use Thunder Thrust and Hatchet Man. They have to be natural critical hits, which means this is going to take time, and it requires a lot of luck. So... Um, it does not matter how the monster is enraged, they can be enraged naturally as some monsters are, you can use Whistle, and it does not matter who delivers a critical hit, so, um, pretty much you can go to, like, any monster you want. I'm going to go to could you go back to the Magmaru for this, um, because the Mandric Marauders that are in there, which is actually, uh, we have to kill them for the quest that comes after this, but we have to complete this quest first before we can even do that. Uh, the Mandrake Marauders, uh, become enraged very easily, um, 
usually when you just regularly attack them. But uh, obviously Whistle works too. Uh, they can appear in groups, which is awesome, and they frequently summon backup. So you can sit there and just whistle for quite a while and just, you know, pound away at them. So that way um, you have don't have to run into them in the wild, I guess you could say, as often. Oh, because I'm poisoned still. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, healing at a church apparently does not get rid of the poison status. I purposely kept the poison status on to give myself some extra damage. And funnily enough, it uh, uh, one thing about poison, when you when the current battle you're actually in, you're considered envenomated, even though poison and venom aren't the same things, and you will take poison damage in the battle there. But once that uh, you finish that battle, you'll only take it out of battle. And obviously I kept it on deliberately because it was just adding to the amount of damage I was taking on the damage tiles, which was a good thing. But apparently healing at an end doesn't fix that. Okay, good to know. So I'm going to be in here for a while off screen and pounding away at some monsters until I obviously take care of my two enraged monsters with the critical hits. And then when we return, we will be back in Wormwood Creek to finish off that quest. So thank you for watching, everybody. See you later.